Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about the PPM. PPM is the Project Portfolio Management. So this is the complete training video for PPM, uh, I mean Project Portfolio Management. We are going to um, segregate that multiple application in a different different sessions and pretty much 9 to 10 session we will complete this uh, course and then each course have a meaningful um, application. So the PPM is a broader scale and uh, the Project Portfolio Management is a broader scale application will part the multiple application. So first of all, I want to uh, talk about that, what all are the um, plugins we are going to install during the PPM. So very first thing is that we are going to install the PPM standard and the agile development. So this is the optional, agile development is the optional. If you don't install the agile development, you won't be able to understand that, uh, you won't be able to create the hybrid project or the agile task. We'll come those points later, but let's see. What are the plugins we are going to install? So if you go to the your service now plugins module, if you search the PPM standard. So this is the application we have already installed the PPM standard and after installing that we are able to see multiple modules. Apart from that, we need to be install that Agile development. Um, this is the Agile, de Agile development applications that also have to be installed. And as I mentioned, this is the optional uh, plugins. If you don't install that, still you will be able to uh, understand or you will be able to find all those details. Okay, so these two plugins are need to be installed. So now, um, as, I, as I mentioned that idea management is the idea portal from where end user will be create the idea. So they don't have to have any role for specifically to create an idea. The idea manager is a bigger role. They have to go through each and every um, idea and decide that which idea is actually needs to be converted as a demand. So idea is the first part where to creation of the demand. Although demand can be created ma manually or directly without idea. So very first thing is the idea is the trigger point when the idea will be created it if it is approved it will be created demand so demand uh, can be created in two way one it manually can be created other will be it can be created from the idea so once the demand will be created from the demand there will be necessary fine tuning will be happen so demand will be and keep on adding that multiple details like who will be that actually uh, stakeholders what will be their assessments based on their assessment and um, based on their uh, based on their assessment and, ba and and based on their inputs it will be created assessments and then based on that demand manager will be decide that it has to be create a project or not so after demand it will be create a project now in the project uh, it uh, it can be have um, two types of uh, project it's normally can have the waterfall model until unless you uh, enable that um, agile development plugins if you enable that it can be waterfall model it can be agile it can be hybrid and then based on that project is a bigger skill from where you can manage the project you can create a project task you can create the story you can create the change request you can uh, allocate the resource they are the parallel these, these things are really running the parallel so uh, resource plan will be there inside the project time card time should be there and all those steps together will be come to that under a portfolio so as a portfolio like, like a digital marketing is my portfolio inside the digital marketing I have the project call enhance that digital marketing quiz so this is my portfolio is holding that actually the project and demand and program is basically nothing it's logically divided I, like if you remember that every year um, in a portfolio there will be many program will be running and if each program can have multiple demands and a uh, project we will be no more in broader scale in the next slide so this is the diagram of this PPM. If you see, these are the user, end user, and this end user have completely access on the idea portal. Each and every user, still if they don't have any access, they can create idea. And then idea manager is a bigger role. They have to be decide that which idea have to be accepted or which idea have to be rejected. So once this idea is accepted, it will be convert to a demand. So demand, uh, 
once the demand will be created, demand will be refined, and then you will be able to see that how the demand task will be created. The stakeholder will be added, assessment will be done. Based on the assessment, demand manager will decide that the demand has to be approved or rejected. So if the assessment, uh, after the assessment, it uh, by the stakeholder, if the demand manager understand this assessment is, the result is very poor, we don't need the demand, they can be rejected. So after your demand is up to, approved the demand will be created from the demand it will be created the project so once the project will be created project can be divided into the three part one is a waterfall model another is the agile and the hybrid there will be three part if you don't install the agile plugins you will be able to see only the waterfall task you won't be able to create the agile and you won't be able to create the hybrid so once you install this your plugin called agile development then only you will be able to see the agile and hybrid means that waterfall plus agile is the hybrid and then the project can have um, the product and then the project can be associated with in uh, from the project it can be created the incident it can be created the story um, basically from the waterfall model you can create the change request from the agile task you can create the story sprint those are the stars you'll be able to do that i'll simply go to the service now instance and i'll show you that what are the modules you will be able to see? Very first module you will be able to see if you search with the idea. This is the idea module that you will be able to see. And this is the idea portal which is available for every user. They will be able to access the idea portal. Next module, the demand. This demand module will be able to see all these demand, a related demand and you can be able to create the demand from the idea. Otherwise, you can man manually can be created the demand. Next is that uh, well, the third topic is the project, which is the bigger picture. The project, if you see that, if you type the project, you have two options. One is the project administration, another is the project. So we'll talk about first the project. So project have an investment portal that we'll discuss, we'll discuss in our um, sessions. We'll discuss the portfolio dashboard. We'll discuss that how the portfolio affect the program, program workbench, program dashboard. These all these topics we'll discuss. And again, we'll talk about that, how the project will be created from the demand and then how we can enhance or keep on changing the demand, uh, keep, we keep on changing the projects. So those topics we'll discuss and last and not the least, the timesheet will definitely discuss that, how the project manager will create the timesheet for them. So that's it for today. Next video, we'll be able to upcoming video, we'll be see all these sessions one by one. So to get this video, please subscribe and hit on the bell icon. Thank you very much. Have a great day.